Hey there, fabulous viewers. Welcome back to the channel where we're about to dive into the mesmerizing world of pose transformations, powered by Stable Diffusion and ControlNet. But hey, before we get started, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more epic content like this. You don't want to miss out on any of our future tech adventures. To get started, we'll need a few things ready and installed. First up, we have Stable Diffusion, the cornerstone of our creative process. Don't worry if you haven't installed it yet. We've got your back with a clear installation guide for Windows. Just check the link in the description below. Next, we'll need to introduce ControlNet into the mix. This essential tool helps us master our model's posture. And of course, don't forget to download the OpenPose model. It's a must. Our ControlNet installation guide has got you covered on that front too. Lastly, make sure you have an initial image at the ready, or you can generate one directly within the text to image tab. We've even prepared an awesome image to kickstart your creative journey. So with all these elements in place, we're ready to dive into the world of pose transformations. In the text to image settings, changing poses with stable diffusion becomes a breeze. Begin by effortlessly dragging your image into the PNG info tab, and with a simple click, send it to text to image. It really is that straightforward. However, if you're working with a different image, here's the scoop. When it comes to prompts, describe your image, sprinkle in some keywords, or let Deep Buru work its magic. Paste the image in the Image to Image tab and click the Deep Buru button. Think of it as having a wizard in your corner. Just remember to add a touch of intrigue with a negative prompt. For the sampling method, consider Euler A or DDM for photographs, while for those aiming for a more artistic touch, Experimenting with DPM++2 MSDE Keras can yield stunning results. When it comes to sampling steps, pump it up to at least 30 or higher. And don't forget about width and height. Keep the aspect ratio the same as your original image and keep the maximum values between 768 and 1024. As for the CFG scale, aim for balance. Around 7.5 should do the trick. You can leave the other settings unchanged. We will be utilizing two control net models, so make sure you have multi control net set to at least two. For the first control net unit, do the following. Drag your initial image in the control net unit, then change the following settings. Set the control type to reference. Leave the preprocessor as reference only. For the control weight, I recommend a value between one and two. See what works best for you. Set the control mode to control net is more important and leave the rest of the settings at their default values. The second control net unit is where the real magic happens. Start by dragging your open pose image into the control net unit. If you're new to open pose, don't worry. We've got your back. You can find our pack with dynamic poses available on Civiti completely free. And if you're unfamiliar with open pose, we recommend checking out our open pose crash course on YouTube for a quick primer. Now, let's dive into the settings. Control type should be set to open pose. For the preprocessor, you can choose none. Alternatively, if you prefer, you can upload any image into the control net unit and use the open pose preprocessor. As for the model, opt for the SD15 model. When it comes to the starting control step, aim for a value between 0 and 0 0.2 to find the sweet spot. Lastly, leave the remaining settings untouched, allowing you to focus on the exciting part, generating those incredible pose transformations. That's a wrap for today's journey through the world of fashion tech magic. If you've enjoyed exploring pose transformations, stable diffusion, and control net with us, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more tech adventures.